Not only am I going to be filling you guys in on what is going to be coming in the most recent incoming Diablo Mortal update, but we're going to be sharing with you what's coming for the entire roadmap of 2024 for all of us players inside of Diablo Immortal. A little bit of a teaser right here of what we're looking at, which is some new gear inside of the game, which is apparently game changing gear. I'm excited to grab it. But the way I want to do this is I want to go through this utilizing the announcement that just went out. We're going to watch through it, pick it apart and see what it's sharing with us, what kind of things we can look forward to seeing inside of the game. And we're going to start it right now with the beginning of this trailer. Let's dive in. Precipice Happy of New Horror. Year, Diablo Immortal fans. It's Mark Scott. Happy spring then. I think it's still freezing in a lot of places. Well, it sounds like the perfect time to warm yourselves up in the burning hells of Diablo Immortal. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Scott Burgess, lead content designer on Diablo Immortal. And I'm John Yu, lead system designer on Immortal. We have so much information to share with you. We're gonna break down our 2024 roadmap, highlighting the key features that we're excited about. And we think you will be too. And then we're going to do a deep dive into 2.3 and what to expect in the latest patch. So let's take a closer look at the year ahead and all the upcoming content to get hyped about. All right, so this is update 2.3. 2024 will be the year of terror with Diablo making his return to Sanctuary. So to be prepared for his arrival, there will be challenges to test your metal and new gear that you'll need in order to prepare yourselves right. for the fight of your lives. But you won't have to do it alone. There's a new challenger ready to enter the fray. Coming soon, we will be dropping our brand new class called the... Just kidding, you'll... All right, so there is a new class coming in 2024. Honestly, I was not anticipating this at all. The Blood Knight came in the summer of 2023. I did not expect a new class, especially as early as we're going to see a new class Crazy, but good. Let's hear more. We'll have to wait a bit longer for that one, pals. But we can't say it's unlike any other class you've seen before in the Diablo universe. Speaking of the Diablo universe, we'll be kicking off the summer with our second anniversary celebrations. Did he say we can't say it's unlike any other character we've seen in the Diablo universe? What that means is it's going to be a character class that is part of Diablo already in one of the other titles. That's what that sounded like to me. There'll be a lot of events and challenges to earn that sweet, sweet loot. So sweet. Not too sweet, but just sweet enough. Also coming later this year is the new main chapter quest. And we're excited to introduce fresh gameplay features and events. All right. The story continues as the Dark Lord himself grows stronger. His presence will be felt throughout this entire year, culminating in his infamous return. As we build up to his return, there will be a series of special events in what we're calling the Age of a Making. The first of which kicks off with our latest update. Diablo and his minions are clawing to get back to the world of Sanctuary. Their attempts to rip through our world have created terrorists all throughout the land, and you must delve into them to fight back the forces of hell. Terror rifts. So essentially, these are going to be breaks in the realm that you can go into, maybe some type of a portal looking thing. And apparently, it's going to be a different rendition of that place. So, uh, an example we can give is if you're in Belafin or Belafin and there is a terror rift, you can go into that and it's going to be like an alternative version of Belafin. Not sure what that's going to look like, but it looks like this is sharing some display here. You'll find the Terror Rifts are in the open world, and upon entering, you will discover a warped version of Sanctuary, where nothing is what it seems. These are challenging areas littered with monsters that are imbued with the increased power of demonic affixes. Dangerous threats roam the lands, and if you slay them, you will be rewarded with Terror Essence. Terror Essence, something brand new, which allows us to do some brand new things inside of the game, which are gonna be mentioned now. Now, when you gather enough of these terror essences, they can be consumed at an oblivion pillar, which will take you to a dangerous boss. But this won't just be any boss fight. The monsters waiting for you on the other end of this will be some of the hardest battles we've ever built for Diablo Immortal. And this is how you're gonna be able to get that new type of gear. This is one of the only ways to get that new type of gear. But only if you're skilled enough. If you defeat these epic bosses, you will have a chance to be rewarded with eternal gear. 
These items can have up to four magical properties on them. Eternal Gear will be some of the most powerful items in the game. All right, so you can have four magical properties. Right now, the best gear that you can get will have three magical properties. This is gonna have four. It's gonna be end game type gear. I believe it's only gonna be available in Inferno Difficulties Plus, so it's not gonna be for brand new players that haven't already gotten to that point inside of the game, which is nice that there's some end game content coming for players that have been playing since day one. Another awesome feature that will be coming in 2.3 are Hell Slayer Bounties. Now All right. Hell Slayer Bounties, so there's gonna be uh, something different coming to Bounties, which I believe will potentially also be able to get us some of that gear as well. These are rare special bounties that will take you on a quest to complete a Modified Oblivion Pillar. Right. Throughout modified Oblivion Pillar, which is where you go in for those battles to get that gear. Throughout the year, there'll be more events, challenges, and game modes that will all be a part of our special end game system, the Age of Unmaking. Age of Unmaking. It's been a great start of the year for Diablo Immortal, and we have a whole lot more content updates coming your way. All right, we're gonna pause here because this is showing us what we're getting for the entire year. And to start out this roadmap, I'm gonna remove myself so that we can see what's underneath me. Right now, Tong Shi's Renewal. This is something that's gonna be going on or went on inside of the game already. Then January through March, notice it says Terror Rifts, Oblivion Pillars, Eternal Equipment, and Deckard Kane's Elite Quest. So these are things that we just spoke about and heard about inside of that video. Terror Rifts are gonna be the openings in the realm where you can go in and get a different variation of that realm. Oblivion, and, and in that realm, that's where you get that new sweet, sweet juice. I forget what it's actually called. You utilize that, that red globe that popped out in Oblivion Pillars to go fight against these massive elite bosses. And if you beat them, you can get yourself eternal gear. If you notice from the footage that we saw there too, if you want to rewatch, it was a one person battle. There were not four people or eight people going against this big boss. From what we could see, there was only one player. So this is solo player doable content. But again, it's for the end game players. But this is how we get eternal equipment. They also did mention how in the, the bounty board, there's gonna be some modification, which allows us to do oblivion pillar modifications, which leads us to believe that if it's a modification of an oblivion pillar and an oblivion pillar is to fight those bosses and fighting those bosses gets us eternal gear, it seems that that's another way to get ourselves that eternal gear. We have another Deckard Kane Elite quest, which is nice, just more content inside of the game. Then, as we go forward, March to April, look at this, in between, we have a new class. That is literally weeks away of a new class inside of the game. A new class coming to Diablo Immortal, which I'm anticipating, just because of what they said inside of this trailer, is going to be a class that we've seen before. Is it some type of a rogue character? I'd love to say Witch Doctor, but I don't believe it's the Witch Doctor that's coming to the game. So new class is something that I don't think anyone was expecting. A lot of the leaks and the people that are saying that they know what's coming and they're throwing stuff out there, uh, they never mentioned this. So it leads me to believe that those guesses were exactly that. Then April to June, a new Paragon system. Notice it doesn't say a new Paragon tree, a new Paragon system. So I'm wondering how they're gonna rework this. What's the Paragon system gonna look like? Apparently, or I would assume, it's gonna be something that's smoother and easier to function. Now that there's so many different trees that we've had because we've gotten so many Paragons in the game over the last year and a half, two years. New equipment system. So a new way to manage the equipment that we wear. I don't know how that's gonna work, but maybe they have something fancy up their sleeves. New Heliquary bosses, of course. New game modes, of course, are also coming. Then between June and July, this is about when the Blood Knight came out last year, the Cursed Solstice. New zone, new game mode, we're not sure. Then July through September, Worldstone Quest Part 1. That's apparently just new quests in the game. Dungeon Updates. Not sure what the updates are going to be or if it's going to be a new dungeon. I'm assuming it's updates to the current dungeon system. New Co-op Mode, which is nice. We've They've actually done a really nice job over time doing the different modes that allow us to play together with friends. And a Cursed Towers Update. 
So I personally love the Accursed Towers right now because it's something that we can do solo. You get very hefty rewards, specifically Spirit Essence for doing it. And you get yourself some free XP just logging in and clicking on that. It's some free XP every single day. Plus, when you get the circles filled, you can get drops of Legendary Crest, which is quite nice. I like the Accursed Towers. Curious to see how they update that. It can be a complex system for someone that doesn't understand it, so maybe they're going to make things easier. Now, notice that we did just pass prior to that, between June and July, it was the two-year anniversary of Diablo Immortal. Then we have Hallow's Wake coming between September and October, and then October through December, World Stone Quest Part 2. A new zone is dropping inside of the game, which often, not always, means a new dungeon as well. New Heliquary bosses, again, as we're getting up in Paragon level, they're going to continuously drop new Paragon, uh, new Heliquary bosses, and so much more. The question is, what are they not putting on here? It is, um, they are known for putting out update information and leaving out a lot of things that are also coming to the game in addition, there is no word of new gems coming to the game right here. There's no word of new familiars coming into the game here. These are not the gems, but the familiars are a new system that they brought to the game. I would guess that there's going to be something brought to familiars. Maybe the new familiar. I know that when China came out with their familiars, I believe they had two additional familiars beyond the ones that we have. I believe that at some point in time, we'd be seeing those familiars as well. Not that I need to but I would anticipate that we would at some point in time. Obviously, there's going to be different cosmetics, different returning events, and they did say a new co-op mode, which I'm always into co-op. Curious to see what that's about. And if you take a look at the top of the screen on the right, Terror Reigns, look at that image of Diablo. He looks uh, more brutal than he ever has before. Let's continue and finish up this video and then sum it all up. We hope you enjoyed 2.3, and good luck getting that eternal gear. You're gonna need it if you wanna be prepared for the war with Diablo himself. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you in Sanctuary. All right, so when we fight Diablo himself, that's when we're gonna need that eternal gear. All right, so essentially they're preparing us for this big battle against Diablo. End game mechanics for players that have their accounts at that nice, nice level. And as always, they're always bringing new other things to the game as well that can be enjoyed by all players at all levels. But it is nice to see that players that are hardcore, that have been playing e either for a long time or grinding their butts off for the catch-up mechanic, are able to get something as well. Something else that I like here is that they are making modifications to current systems. That tells me that they're seeing an issue with the current system, and they're trying to make it smoother and a better experience for players. One of the systems that they said that was, was with the, where is it? The Paragon system. I don't see a problem with the Paragon system. They've modified it already to the point where now we're able to delete things and add things to it. We don't have to start all fresh with the Paragon system, but curious to see how that's gonna change and how any other updates are going to go. This is a big year ahead for Diablo Immortal. Some of the biggest takeaways here, new gear, a new type of gear, new class, and of course, new zone, new game modes. They always bring us new stuff all the time, and that's what makes Diablo Immortal, in my opinion, the best action RPG that we could play on mobile, and some would argue even better than many of the action RPGs you could play on PC as well, just because of the amount of content that the game brings on a regular basis. The updates are always on point, and I think that this one's gonna make us feel the same way. I'll be giving you many, many more details as this stuff releases. As more details come out, I'll share that information with you. As the update comes out, I will share that with you as well. Even if I'm not here in the studio, I'll find a way to bring you the content, even if it doesn't look the way that it typically does. guys. Hope you're excited about all this. I am, and I'll see you back here tomorrow or later today if there's more information that comes out with another video. So make sure you subscribe.